We are back at Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where were we? We had finished the Rushlight Tournament. We had to wait on some new news to show up. Imar set us up, and we need to deal with him in Patax, but we cannot go to Patax right now. Uh, matter of principle, uh, we finished that. Door to Nightmare, Host. I couldn't find the book. I'm not sure where those are. It was started as a joke. The Kevin Guards of Secrets, it'll hit Patax like a bomb. That is just needs time. Octavia needs to go visit someone in Patax. We can't go to Patax yet. Uh, I told Raganagar, let's not meet your family, because that means I have to spend time with Raganagar, and that's just awful. Um, so, the question is, is there anything else to do on the world map? Let's see. Not that I care. Chat picking dialogue options would be chaotic. Uh, well, do they just vote, and then you get the vote, and you can pick whatever you want? Or do they actually pick it? Because that would be bad. Uh, Lindsay is in terrible shape. Not sure. I'll have to look it up later on. Chat plays Dennis playthrough. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Alright, so all of these roads here, it stopped me from continuing. So I don't think I can access that area over there. Um, actually, wait, can I? Because there's Patax. I was able to go down there for the Rushlight Tournament, but I can't enter Patax. I might be able to do that area now. Okay. Let's, let's go see. Uh, Lindsay is, like, dying from exhaustion, but we'll uh, keep going until the others are uh, no longer tired. Or, they are tired. Black words. You've spotted enemies. Try and avoid. Oh, time to get some rest, isn't it? All right, let's rest there. Great word, word, big words, ask. Extra words, extra words. <sighs> I'll sleep, but still extra words. If you think this pitiful impersonation will hurt my feelings, hey, stop doing that. I don't act like this. <laughs> I actually thought he was making fun of Lindsay, but apparently it was uh, Narthropple. Okay. Oh, nice. Her stat damage went away, too. Alright, let's see if we can go down in this area now. We can. Exciting. Alright, so yeah. New area on the map has opened up. Cool. Wicked Hill. Check it out. Have you played Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous yet? I have, yes. That second link in the chat for the uh, second YouTube channel um, has got a playlist with the full playthrough on there if you're interested. Follow me. What is this? He's got a wizard hat. I'm gonna take it. Oh, amateurs, who taught you to hold the ritual like this? And he kills them all. Patient Shadow. Got knocked down, and he's dead. Didn't even have to buff up. Okie dokie, patient shadow. Uh, got a scythe called penalty. Plus three living bane scythe. If the wielder has inquisitor's judgment, it allows him to use it one additional time per day. Okay. How much longer, I wonder? Page from occultist diary. What won't I do for you, the unparalleled Pax Grumetra? Pretending to be a cultist of Karen just to get them to help me. To be honest, all I know about the deity is his symbol, a skull with coins covering the eye sockets. I made the logical assumption that it was somehow related to death and started mumbling something about death and fate at the coven meeting and they just took me for one of their own. Three years studying at the Academy of the Arts can't take that away. Even if most of my time there was more revelry than studying, unfortunately, Karen's followers aren't really much help. Demons serve their deity, but these dumb cultists don't know how the, to make the demons obey their summoner. 
and I can't just tell them a daemon stole the soul of my favorite writer. I need to get it back, or I'll never know who the murderer in the last issue of Shadows of Absalom was. I have to constantly improvise and make things up as I go, but at least I'm good at that. Not that I so a demon stole the soul of your favorite writer, so you are pretending to have joined the cult so that you can learn how to get the soul back. That that all seems completely normal. Will this ever end? Okay, well, seems we've handled this event. Because they're super dead now. Okay. That's one more thing checked off the map. Try to skip this if we can. Yep. Oh, I didn't know you could go further west than this. You cannot sneak past this. Battle ensues. Ha! Entertainment! Oh no. Not not used to lighting oh. enemies on fire first. Okay, I think we're good. Purple Dwemer Owlbears. Owlbear Pelts. Those might sell. Alright, back on the road. Yo, this area is dangerous. Who's the Baron in these lands? Well, it's, uh, I guess it's the King of Patax, but soon it'll be me. Time to get some rest, isn't it? Where does this go? We should gather our strength. Hmm. And what are you doing? I go mad if someone stole the soul of my favorite author before he finishes the trilogy, he handed book two on a cliffhanger. Someone needs to know where to go when we finally get lost. I really hope this isn't one of those really, really slow paths that takes four days to go up through the mountains. Like that one in the bottom right corner of the map. Castle of Knives. Uh, okay, let's see what this is. Sounds friendly. Probably a local motel. Tap quick save in case things go bad. Not that I care. And then our leader charged forwards. Let us we strike as one. Oh my. All right. Lindsay, start the song. I can't get her to start her music. This is so stupid. I don't know why. I don't know if she's silenced or something, but she will not start her bard song. That one went deep. Follow me, or don't. Like a dead wyvern over there. Uh, okay, we need to buff up. I think we probably just need block poison for that thing, but might as well just go ham. Uh, I appreciate Quadrifio. 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 Quadrifio.
<laughs> he said, come here, Bax. Knock, knock, stab you. How much longer, I wonder? Tree Crest Buckle. Satyr Archer, Nymph, Kamala the Phoenix. Don't hesitate. A satyr and a nymph are watching a dark-skinned elf whose arms are dancing, gracefully making magical gestures in a sort of ritual. Noticing you, she stops her ceremonial dance and greets you with a light bow, respectful and dignified. You are Mukluk, warrior king, the first to bring peace to the Stolen Lands. I sought a meeting with you, and fate has allowed our paths to cross. My name is Kamala. Why were you looking for me? Mysterious and sinister events are happening in your lands. The border between worlds grows thin, and someone's hand reaches through it, plotting the deaths of you and your subjects. My brothers and sisters from the Saramgamin Order have come to help you stand firm against this unknown enemy. If you desire our help, and if you pass our trials, and prove you are worthy of it. Lore Religion The Saramgamin Order is relatively unknown, but you've heard stories. They are followers of good and order, whose teacher Avalo, a native of Jalmare, preaches complete non-violence. What does this trial consist of? The heart of the way is practice. The ability to subdue anger, negotiate without threat, to quell a conflict before a spark becomes a fire. I imagine the king must be familiar with such things. With your permission, I would like to test you here and now. Look at these fey. I charm them so they wouldn't interfere while I open a portal into their native world. I will release them now. To pass the trial, you must convince the fey to remain calm while I prepare to send them home. Try to do this without threatening them, and don't let them charm you. <laughs> okay. Let's begin. Kamala lifts the spell from the Fey with a graceful gesture and starts casting another spell to send them home. The nymph and satyr look at you mischievously. Some prank is obviously brewing in their heads. Hmm. Tell me, who are you and what are you doing here? I am Irene, and this is Kinesius. We are bored. Frightfully bored. Everywhere else it's changing, flickering like this and like that. But here it's always the same all the time. The trees don't talk, the mountains don't fly, and you're such fools. Ha <laughs> Everything is so strange here. How do you live here at all? Seder, we've been sitting here for a hundred million years. We're so bored. Let's go for a walk. We'll show you something wonderful. You'll love it. And you'll be rich. You mortals love treasure, right? There you go. There's plenty of treasure around here. But without us, you'll never find it your whole life. Hmm. Bluff. So what? Treasures? I have plenty of those. You've never seen anything like the stuff I've got. Really? What kind of treasures do you mortals have? Show us. Show us. We want to see. That's it. Time for you to go home. No, no. We've only just arrived. We aren't going anywhere. The satyr takes out a pan flute and starts playing. Succeeded at will check. You feel drowsy for a moment, but the spell's effects quickly clear. Realizing his spell didn't work, the satyr hides his flute. Uh, right. We should probably go. There's no place like home. Bye. Okay. Now what did that earn me? Will this ever end? Congratulations, you've passed my trial. Your will is strong and it cannot be broken by spells or by the most frightful enemy, the bloodthirsty beast that lurks inside each of us. I invite you to meet the other masters of the order and pass their trials. Don't be afraid of failure. No one in this world is perfect. But we must be sure that those who we help are worthy. Set off to the Temple of the Elk. Br uh, Brother Visaka the Unicorn. The Unicorn? Is awaiting for you there for your next trial. Um, Kamala the Phoenix doesn't sound elven. When I passed all the trials and joined the order, the, unicorn, the teacher gave me a new name in the language of his homeland, as is his way. Kamala means lotus, a flower that grows from swamp mud, but grows with immaculate whiteness. It is a symbol that speaks for itself. As for phoenix, that's something like a title. It refers to those who've burnt away their primitive instincts and revi revive pure force of will from their ashes. Before I walked the wise way, I did much harm and many stupid things, and I was controlled by the animal inside me. Now that it has no power over me, I follow the path of law and good, as shown by the teacher. Jubilos, familiar rhetoric about the internal beast. We should have sent you to the inconsequent debates. You'd smooth talk the host in the blink of an eye. Hmm, what do you know about the power behind portals? We will share our knowledge with you when you prove you are worthy of our help. Didn't I just do that? 
Um, all right, I gotta go. So long, your highness. May your way be wise. She gonna portal out? Nope, just just walk in and then disappear. Okay. Pass the What's trial of the skin of the unicorn. Uh, nah, I don't wanna know. Not that we just heard the sound of discovering something, but I didn't. I don't know what it was. Okay. Mobility check. This requires your attention. There's something. Ancient elven bead. All right, so there's a mobility check over there to the left. We're not going to do that yet. I'm going to look around me. first. Or don't. Sometimes those checks are just a way to get to an area, and you could just walk around and get there by just walking. But if you fail the check, you usually like fall and twist your ankle or something. So I want to look around for other routes before I do that. Hello. You grave rotted imbecile. You broke it. Really, Nerly Witch? You seek aid from these pathetic creatures? Don't try your mind games on me, Worm Face. I know these are your minions. We did nothing of the sort, Crone. You destroyed our property with your ignorance of magic. Ignorance? I'll show you ignorance. You already do. Daily. I'll boil your maggots. I'll impale every wriggling piece on your thorns. Uh, back up. We're getting hit by their attacks. Wait, are they just fighting each other and I'm getting caught in the middle? Time's changed, Nerly Witch. Your influence has waned. The crown is ours. Hello, children. Uh, Shaika the Mini. The figure before you wears gray robes, yet the body beneath them flickers, changing age, gender, and race. One moment, an ancient elven man, and the next a young human woman, then a tattooed dwarf, and so on. They raise an eyebrow. Well, did you get it for us? This reminds me of those comics where it's like the beginning of Skyrim and the guy's talking to the main character and he's like, who are you? And then the main character goes through character customization so he just shifts through a whole bunch of races. And the guy's like, oh my god. Uh, get what? Oh, that's right. You don't know about that yet, do you? Honestly, we don't know how you people can handle only moving one way through time. But that's besides the point. We need you to retrieve the first crown for us. What is that? A magical bauble, the enchanted crown of the first king, whose kingdom Nyrissa destroyed. She gave it to the Nerly Witch as a token of her regard, but now that the wriggling man is the nymph's current favorite, he feels it rightfully belongs to him, and they've been fighting over it for weeks. Where can I find it? In the course of their fighting, the Nerly Witch and Wriggling Man accidentally broke the crown into three pieces, the magical backlash teleporting each piece somewhere within this forest. If we knew exactly where, we wouldn't need you to search for them, would we? Why do you want it? A good rule for surviving First World is never ask a Feylord why. Honestly, most mortals are overjoyed to get a divine quest. Let's just say the crown has the potential to make significant ripples in this timeline, and we'd like to guide them in a positive direction. We could get it ourselves, of course, but there are... He waves vaguely. Politics. More games of the gods than those who fancy themselves gods. So tiresome. What's in it for me? You're after the self-styled nymph queen, right? Yes? While we won't punish her directly, Narissa Reeson's overreach annoys me. Bring us the crown and we promise you an easier time overthrowing her. Okay. Excellent. We'll be here when you return. Okay. Are these Not two still blasting? Idea. There's like a mud spell in this area still going on. But it's not hurting us. Will this ever end? Remember magic? This person's that low, low P. Yo, I'm actually gonna go back and rewatch that scene with magic. How much longer I wonder. When she just like mucked up limbo. Like, she made it clear that all the time she was saying, like, oh yeah, Limbo's mine, that she was not exaggerating. We'll do it the hard way. Right. Uh oh. Not good, we got four in our back line. Healer's down. That was 
was extremely not good. Alright, there's a whole bunch of channels. It's funny to imagine that just doing those channel energies at like a table game would have been like a full minute while everybody is rolling dice to see how much they healed. All right, I just did a heal. What's all? What are you all at? Okay, do I need to use another one? All right, I use another one. Everyone roll dice. All right, does anyone still need a third heal? Okay. And on and on and on. Follow me. Okay. Or don't. Faldrox the Huntsman. Give the order. In a clearing ahead, a satyr curses and hacks or angrily at a stone pillar, trying to chip free a piece of a crown embedded incongruously in its surface. Around him, massive purple worms roll and breach in the churned earth. He turns your direction. What? Who are you? No, wait, I don't care. Get lost. Use detect magic. There are plenty of lingering traces of magic from the battle between the Wriggling Man and the Nerly Witch. However, the piece of the first crown shines brighter than any of them. It's obvious the first crown is a remarkable and mysterious magical item. Hmm. I could try to bluff and tell him that his boss is calling him, but it's only a 20% chance it'll succeed. What you doing? None of your business. Get moving before I stick the worms on you. You need help? And have you steal my glory? Not a chance. The Wriggling Man will uh, make me his chief huntsman after this. <laughs> you can yell, die, goat boy. Uh, in the name of Shika, step away. The satyr looks puzzled. Shika? What do the mini have to do with this? He grins, showing sharp teeth, and waggles his eyebrows. Nobody messes in the Wriggling Man's business. If the Lord of Time sent you, she must have known what I'd do to you. I think we lost one of the saber tooth tigers there. Uh, is that the crown on the wall? First crown fragment. The pillar or the crown piece was embedded. Okay, that's one. Shika the mini is very special. I don't know anything about that person's lore. I found something interesting. Onwards! Our victory is certain! Out of the way! Stay behind me! Oh gosh. Not not used to lighting enemies on fire first. <laughs> Critical 79 sneak attack. Yo, knock knock shredding them. Quiet. Ready to stab. Dryad. I didn't even realize Muck was like super I injured. What the heck? Dead. When did that happen? Uh... Let us try 
strike is one. Do not falter. <laughs> Good thing we did the block poison spell earlier, because there's a bunch of it. How much longer, I wonder? Okay, that's the top corner of the map. Ready for anything. Oh my god, that's big. Is that a lindworm? You there, help me with this thing. Salem Gadafar, just ahead, a man in the dark robes of a Pharasman priest battles an enormous spiked beast. While he's holding his own with magic and sword of the melted looking hilt, the snarling beast has him cornered. Suddenly catches sight of you. Help me with this thing. Attack the Lenorm. Hang on! Lenorm, not Lindworm. Slightly wrong there. Onwards! Stay behind me! Let us try this one! Trying to turn it toward her so that if it does a breath attack. Oh my god. Remember when I said I was trying to turn its breath attack? Okay. Where's this fire on the group? You... Alright, you guys go for it. Keep my pack. Wait, what? There we go. Knock, knock, got him. What troubles you? Wrong person. You should be there. Follow me! Okay. Or don't. Uh, the roadman nods gratefully. Thank you for the help. If Shaika hadn't sent you, I'd have been in real trouble. He frowns. Of course, Shaika hadn't sent me after the stupid shard. I wouldn't have been fighting the overrun lizard in the first place. Um, if Shaika sent you, why didn't they tell me about it? They know. Who knows why Shaika does anything? Perhaps they thought they'd already told you. For a god of time, they find it surprisingly difficult to keep straight what has or hasn't happened yet. What do you know about the first crown? This is the crown of an ancient elven king named Lathoriel, ruler of the first kingdom Nerissa destroyed. But it's not just a crown, his soul has been tied to it. His ghost forced to serve its owner. While it's broken, he's trapped in there, unable to manifest. But no wonder Nerissa's cronies want it so bad. He shakes his head, or Shaika for that matter. Uh, who are you? Salem Gadafar, a servant of Phrasma, so to speak. I owe Shaika a favor, so I agreed to help him locate the first crown. Though it appears the crown is far more than I was originally told. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Shaika are as shifty as the damn death goddess. Oh, nice. I've heard of you. That'd make an awesome chapter in my book. I think I'd start like this. Who was the mysterious man in black robes who fought alongside us against such a dreadful monster? And then I'd wait to give the answer for a while, let the readers feel the suspense. Did you just curse your own goddess? He laughs bitterly. I used to hunt priests back in Rahadum. You know the atheist nation? I was an officer in the Pure Legion. Then I made some bad decisions and ended up an indentured servant of the Lady of Graves. Let's just say the situation hasn't been easy on either of us. <laughs> Neutral. Sounds rough. You have no idea. Can you imagine what it's like to wake up every morning as the exact thing you despise most? He shakes his head then smiles ruefully. I'll say one thing for this job though. Serving the Lady of Graves means you can put your thumb in the eye of all the other gods on a pretty regular basis. Valerie, I too once drew the attention of a god. Please accept my sincere sympathy. Mmm, you fight well. Will you join my quest? Sorry, even if my grave rotted master would allow it, I work alone. Okay, give me the crown fragment. Straight to the point, aren't you? Well, go on and take it. The damn Lenorum swallowed it before I could grab it. I told Shaika I'd track it down, but I won't fight you for it, especially after you just saved my beard. Alright, bye. Safe travels, he says with a smile, though I suspect we'll meet again. That's how things work when Shaika's involved. Uh, there it is. Okay. Tree Crest Flask, also. Not that, that sounds like something I'd find in Elden Ring. Ghostly Guard. 